Okay. <sighs> period. A bitch is feeling herself. Period. Oh my god, it's been a minute. It's been a fucking minute. I'm gonna apologize now because my fan is gonna be running the whole time because it's hot and I need to stay cool or else I'm literally gonna melt my wig off. So, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a um, brow elimination update. I didn't realize how many questions I got underneath that video, but I also didn't expect that video to do as well as it did. It got a lot of views. And a lot of people had questions about it. I guess there were things that I didn't touch on or just like an update, you know, like how long it lasts. So I'm going to actually be touching up my brows. I'm going to do another brow lamination as I answer your questions that you left under that video. So that's all we're doing, period. Don't try and clock my wig, okay? I try my very best. If you guys are interested in this video, then make sure you keep watching, of course. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, turn on your post notifications. There will be new videos two times a week. Um, so join the fam, cause we're about to hit 40K. I wanted to hit 40K by the end of June, but I'll accept July 2nd as like the day that I get 40K. Like that's still really good. That's almost 10,000 in one month. So that's really, really good. Next goal is 50K of course. Um, so yeah, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, join the fam come just come come join the fam you know you you know you keep coming back okay at this point i'm talking too much let's just get into the video i'm gonna start by clipping my hair up just because i'm kind of hot i'm not gonna be like going over the steps of the brow lamination again because that's literally what i did in the first video i'm just gonna be doing it on camera as i answer any questions that were left underneath the last video Oh, and I did my nails. The, my next video, oh, you can't see it from now. I did ombre. This is poly gel. They came out really good. Like, I did that. So, the tutorial for this video, for these nails, is going to be going up probably after this one. Okay, so my eyebrows are not tweezed. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see. They're crazy right now. I'm actually growing them out so that I can do... Um, a how I wax and tweeze my eyebrows and wax my mustache, my upper lip at home. So I haven't touched those areas. So don't, don't clock me, please. I do it for you guys. Okay, so a question that I got a lot was how long did they last for you? And I had responded to a couple of people, but then a lot of people just kept asking the same thing. They lasted a month for me um they didn't hold the shape of the brow for an entire month but the the eyebrow hairs themselves being like flat and more like pressed to my skin and straightened in a sense because it's basically like a perm but for your eyebrows or your lashes um that stayed for a month so the actual shape that I had them in where they were like really brushed up it didn't stay like that for a month it might have stayed like that for like two weeks and then the hair is just kind of started to fall normally like how my eyebrow hairs grow in naturally so I'd have to comb them up so that they could be in that shape but they were still straightened and they were still like flat to my face if that makes sense Someone said, hey, how do they look now? I've done it yesterday with the same brand, left it 11 minutes and also tinted them. But today I can see that I burned them, LOL. Still look good, but I wonder if they're going to come off in a few days, LOL. Definitely leaving them five minutes next time I have thin hair. I consider my eyebrow hairs thin. I don't think I have thick eyebrow hairs at all. Um, and the same thing happened to me. I left mine on for 10 minutes and my eyebrows felt hard. Like the next day, like, immediately after they felt really soft and they just felt really flat to my my forehead and they didn't really feel like anything but then when i woke up the next day i like touched my eyebrows and they felt hard and i thought i had burned them too like i had permed the, permed them for too long but then i looked into it and that's actually normal so um you can just it just means that the eyebrow eyebrow hairs need to be hydrated so i just ended up putting like coconut oil on them and it actually helped 
so much so I would definitely suggest doing that like for the next couple days after you perm your eyebrows I've got the plastic on someone commented and they said oh my god I followed you step by step and my brows have never looked so pang ah, I got my UK people in that motherfucking house bitch period um, if you know me you know that I wish that I was from the UK like low-key I just want to have like a natural like UK accent like London accent British accent like I just be <sighs> wishing like i just wish you know but it's okay like i like that i'm from new york too i like that i'm from brooklyn you know brooklyn in the house motherfucker. <laughs> i'm sorry it's really late let's continue as i look crazy and i got my little timer on someone said but i don't understand which part neutralizes the perm um i'm pretty sure step two yeah step two which is um number two the fixation bottle the blue bottle this is the one that actually neutralizes the perm so your eyebrows are no longer being permed at this step it's just like setting them in place but the perm is just step one okay so that answers that <laughs> okay so my 10 minutes is up i'm about to peel this off this really is ooh, so relaxing <laughs> Hi, how long does your brow elimination stay that way? How do you clean your face without getting cleaning product on your brows? And if you do, does it affect the elimination? So they stayed for a month where they were permed. The actual brow hairs, brow hairs were permed for a month. Um, as far as cleaning my face, I clean my face normally. I wet my brows. I didn't wet my brows for 24 hours after the perming but then after that I was washing my face normally like if I wore makeup and I put brow product in my brows I washed my face and I made sure that I cleaned my brows thoroughly um, like I said they kept the shape so like this shape of the way the brow hairs are laying stayed for about like a week maybe and then after that my brow hairs kind of started to fall and like lay naturally but they were still straightened they were still permed for um, up to a month after I did it so I didn't I don't think it didn't affect the lamination me washing my face um, once the hairs are permed they're permed like it's not gonna go back to normal it's like if you perm your hair and then you wet your hair like it's not gonna make your hair revert back to its texture it's gonna stay that way because you've permed the hair from the follicle and it's the same idea with your brows but I would still wait 24 hours um, before wetting your brows at all my brows look so crazy because I didn't shape them these are like completely unshaped like I haven't tweezed or anything trimmed them they look so crazy oh my god I do want to point out that the last time I did this was like uh, two months ago so I was planning on doing it once a month but then I actually had someone comment under the video and tell me that they go to get it done professionally or well before COVID and like this whole quarantine situation and they were told that you're not supposed to do it more than like you're supposed to do it every six weeks minimum so I ended up waiting but then I kind of forgot about it so it's been two months since I've laminated my brows so that's why they were fully like just grown in at this point. Ooh. Mm. Someone said your brows are popping. How long did it last and did your brows fall out? You said you are curious so I really want to know. Um. The short answer is yes. <laughs> the long answer is yes. No. Um, I lost hairs and my eyebrows did look more sparse after the month. After like three weeks, I saw, I noticed like hairs dropping out in places that it didn't normally drop out, but it wasn't like a significant amount. It wasn't like I had bald spots in my eyebrows. They did look more sparse though. They did look thinner than normal. Um, like you see how full they are now because it's been two months since I've done it. It still doesn't make me feel like I don't want to do it again though. I don't know what it is about 
this brow illumination but i'm obsessed like i literally like can't get enough i wish i could do it like every two weeks without my eyebrows completely dropping out but i can't <laughs> so i have to settle for every six weeks but they just make my eyebrows look so good if you have naturally thicker brows and i think you'll be fine even if you lose some hairs but if your eyebrows hairs are thinner like mine or maybe you don't have really thick brows or very full brows normally then maybe don't do the full 10 minutes maybe only do it for like half so you can just have you know a little bit of the fun a little taste you know oh they look so good like wow wow pretty much just yes whatever your question is yes like with these kinds of brows yes whatever you want you can have yes yes they literally look like caterpillars but it's okay we're gonna fix that they just need to be shaped sweetie don't don't get your panties in a bunch i'm taking some of the oil and i'm actually combing it through with this spoolie and then Anyway, so <laughs> no. Okay. <sighs> period. A bitch is feeling herself. Period. Like, are you done? Are you dumb? Ah. My eyebrows look so good. Like, I realized last time that I did this, I didn't show you guys what they would look like if they were like lightly filled in with some brow product. I just showed you how they looked naturally. Um, so this time I showed you both, like, no makeup and then with makeup. Oh my god, they came out so good. Hold on, let me zoom in. Yeah. My brows? Sis. Things I did? That. I did that. Period. I did that. Period. <sighs> I barely like I when I tell you I barely filled them in with pencil like I really just did mostly the top and just the bottom and then I did a couple of really light strokes and then I just did concealer on the bottom no brow gel none of that and they literally look so perfect oh my god <laughs> So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this brow illumination update video and you like that I answered all of your questions, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. We just hit 40k. I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, I can't believe that I did it. I had set a goal for myself that I wanted to hit 40k by the end of June so we hit it July 2nd so that's like two days shy of my goal date but I'm still really proud of myself I'm really happy I'm really just so thankful for you guys um thank you so much for subscribing and watching this video and watching my other videos so yeah shout out to y'all like you guys you did that like y'all really did that so shout out to you you know if you guys do the brow elimination like please dm me like i want to see your photos i want to see pictures of your bomb ass brows because i know it's going to come out fire af i want to see your brows you guys love sending me pictures of your nails i want to see your brows too so make sure you dm me you can follow me on instagram i'm gonna have it on the screen there will be new videos two times a week my new upload days are tuesdays and thursdays so you can look forward to that don't forget to turn on your post notifications I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.